whenever it comes to coding, most of the things you're gonna read are gonna say, you need a CS degree, you should pay $20,000 and go to a coding boot camp, or you should pay all this money to do these online video course lessons to learn how to code, and that's just not true. There's thousands of resources online, but that actually might be the worst part. You really don't know where to get started and you don't know which resource to actually choose and what direction to take. Most people are asking, what language should I start with? Should I build iOS apps? Should I build Android apps? Should I build for the web? And those really aren't the questions you should be asking when you haven't even learned how to code or done any type of coding online. The questions you should be asking is, what resources should I use to learn how to code? I'm gonna share with you guys three resources I have today and how to actually go from using those resources to building your own apps because I think that's something that is lacking in the industry as well with all these tutorials is they never actually push you out there to make your own apps. They just keep making you pay for more tutorials, watch more of my videos. Now, I don't wanna do that. I actually wanna help you guys learn how to code. So let's get to it. Just in case you guys miss any of these websites that I do list, they're all gonna be in the description box below. So the first website that I wanted to talk about is Free Code Camp, and I'm gonna have the spelling somewhere on the screen. Free Code Camp has hours and hours of online free content teaching you how to code, tutorials, code alongs, and not only that, at the end of each section, usually they have you create your own app, and then some person will actually grade it and tell you what you did well about the project and what you could have worked on better. There really isn't any free resources like Free Code Camp online where someone will actually spend the time to look at your project, look it over and tell you what you did good. Having challenges like that when you actually create your own project on your own and don't follow code alongs is the most valuable part in someone's learning, in my opinion, when actually learning how to program. Like stated before, coding along and all those tutorials aren't really ever gonna help you because you're, all you're doing is continuous learning. You're never actually doing and doing is what's gonna take you from that absolute beginner to that next level that you wanna to get to. I actually started using Free Code Camp about two years ago when I was first starting to learn, and it honestly did wonders for my learning. Making those programs is what actually gave me the confidence to go out and build my own and Google different resources and be able to actually start and not feel so lost. The only downside in my opinion about Free Code Camp, which isn't really going to sound like a downside, but there's just so much material on there both front end and back end that, again, it can be overwhelming just to know where to start and someone might feel like they have to do every single class and training on that website just to be able to build their own apps and start on their own and that's not true. Don't feel like you ever have to do all those resources. You're never gonna feel fully ready to go out and build your own apps, you just need to take that leap and just start building, Googling, researching, asking questions and that's actually how you're gonna grow as a developer. Now if you already know where you wanna start coding and it's not the web development route, Free Code Camp might not be for you. But personally, I think if you haven't done any coding yet, web development should be the route that you start with. I started with web development and it was just so easy and quick learning and there's so many resources online. Not only does JavaScript have such an easy and readable language, but there is endless packages and third-party apps and resources for you to use for your projects that people have already written. Web development, you are seeing everywhere. You're seeing it, the web's just taking over the world. JavaScript is in the front end and it's now in the back end. JavaScript is starting to be in machine learning. JavaScript is now in mobile apps. It's literally everywhere. So if you wanna be a versatile developer, I'd say that JavaScript is a great place to start. Just stick with what you do start with though for at least like six months. Get to know it, get the good feel, get to be able to build your own projects and apps and then go from there. Don't start with one language and then jump within a month to another language because that's when you get confused, that's when you quit, you give up, and you don't want that. You just wanna be consistent and keep on learning. And I just wanna say real quick, guys, all three of these websites I am sharing with you today, I have used. So it's not like I just went online and typed in the three best places to learn how to code online and just made a video about it. I've used so many resources in my almost three years of learning how to code and these three that I'm talking with you today about are my top three that actually help me and drive me from beginner to you know, more intermediate, advanced levels of coding. So the second website that I wanna to talk to you guys today about is Code Academy. And unlike Free Code Camp, where it's just a web development, more focused website, Code Academy has almost anything you can think of in the technology development field. They range from just syntax classes to full 12 week courses. They have free and paid courses, but you don't even need to do the paid courses because there's so many free courses on there. If you guys did decide to pay for Code Academy, I wouldn't say it's a ripoff unlike a lot of other resources out there. Code Academy definitely gives you 
the resources and it's worth your money. Some of these 12 week courses are like front end web development, back end web development, iOS app building, Android app building. It's not just learn JavaScript, learn Python, learn Swift, learn C++, learn Java. But like I said before, they also have just language courses if you wanted to do that as well. But the best part about Code Academy is it's not just step-by-step -step code along tutorials. It's more of an interactive website. So there'll be an article saying this is what you should do and then you will be coding it in real time, not watching anyone else code on an editor they have on their website. So these challenges and puzzles that they provide for you are really what's gonna help you in your journey learning. Like I said at the beginning of the video, instead of just doing step-by-step -step tutorials, you're actually out there building and thinking and using your mind to build your own solutions to these problems. All right, so my third and final website is Hacking with Swift. Hacking with Swift is a resource you would use if you wanna build apps for the iPhone, the Mac, or even the iPad. Now yes, Hacking with Swift does have a lot of paid material on there, but there's also 39 free full tutorial courses using the Swift language to build things from games to things using Apple's Map Kit, Sprite Kit, UI Kit, all of it. It teaches you basically from beginner to advanced in just that Swift language in 39 full tutorials. When I wanted to build iOS apps, I did all 39 of these tutorials and I could have definitely cut it short at like 20 and started building my own apps, but I gained so much from these tutorials that I really wanted to keep on going and learn as much as I could. A big thing about hacking with Swift that you're going to want to use is at the end of these projects, um, he is going to talk about what you could do to add on and get better and do on your own without any step-by-step -step teaching or learning to the projects you just made. And I highly recommend that because that is really going to help boost your learning even more. After the tutorial, what you just learned, you implement by yourself with no one else telling you what to do is definitely a great way to kickstart that learning. So those are the three websites that I want to share with you guys that really helped me and my learning when I was learning how to code. And I wish someone would have showed me these three websites up front and I wouldn't have had to waste my time with all the other resources that I used and started over again and kept trying to learn different places because it wasn't really helping my learning. One of the biggest questions that I see in this field is what should I do after I watch all these tutorials? What apps should I make now? I'm stuck and I don't know how to advance. And my answer to that would be go back to all those apps you made and build some new features on it. Build something that only takes one to three days because people are telling these other new beginners to make something that's gonna take over a week. And if you're a beginner, you're gonna lose steam and motivation to build something that's going to take you a week. That's something I really wish someone would have told me because I would start building an app that was gonna take me even a month and I would lose steam every time and then I would revert back to tutorials because I thought that I wasn't getting any better. And it wasn't the tutorials that were gonna make me better, it was doing smaller apps that is only gonna take me one to three days to complete and actually give me that motivation and keep that spark going because I'm finishing things on my own and that's gonna motivate you more to actually keep going and keep learning and build more apps. And after you've built up your portfolio with those smaller apps and features, then you can tackle something bigger when you already have that motivation and that determination to actually finish something large. So yes, you may be here because you have the next million dollar idea and you wanna build that, but that's not something that you're going to build in the next three months, unfortunately to tell you. Because if you rush your learning and actually do try to build that next million dollar idea in three months without ever coding before, it's not gonna be that great. The products you build, you're going to wanna be great and you don't wanna have to lose motivation or lose that spark. So use these resources to your benefit and then go out and build on top of those apps you made with those resources. And once you've done that and you feel really comfortable, then go out and build that next million dollar idea app that you have or go out and start building projects that you've always wanted to build. And guys, I'm not going to lie to you, it does get hard and there are times when you do want to quit, but don't quit because that's right before the point when you're going to get that aha moment and then everything will come so easily and it'll just flow. I had that aha moment about three months in, so it doesn't come overnight, but it's definitely worth it. And I know the journey is hard, guys, and it, you do have to try every day, but that's the best part. Seeing yourself better every single day, you just can't ask for more than that. Like, think about it, you look back a week, two weeks, three weeks, compared to where you are today, if you have coded every single one of those days, you're gonna be miles ahead. So don't compare your journey to someone else's that already knows how to program. Just compare your journey to where you were a week ago, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And if you ever do get really stuck, there are so many places online to ask questions. 
there's places like Stack Overflow, there's places like Reddit, and Reddit has so many subreddits, like Learn Programming. They have subreddits for certain languages like JavaScript, Python, Swift. Just go and ask questions there. There are advanced developers there that will help you and answer your questions and will help you get unstuck and continue on with your journey. So that basically wraps it up for this video. But if you guys do have any questions about any of the content that I did go over today, feel free to leave a comment below and I'll try to get back to you as fast as I can. And if you guys did like this video, please feel free to subscribe to my channel because I will be posting videos like this every week. All right, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.